Hello everyone! Hello! Welcome back! So tonight we are vaccinating against BVD and Lepto, which are two diseases that um, cattle can pick up, so we're basically injection to prevent that happening. So tonight we're doing the milk in here, so we're doing about 190 cows, um, but we will also do like the dry cows and all the in-car peppers and everything like that. So it's a vaccination, so it's just the same as you might have had your COVID vaccination or the flu vaccination. It's the exact same thing, so we're basically just preventing them from catching it. Um, at the moment, touch wood, we don't actually have them. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Mother! She knew as well, she knew. That has completely broken the flow. I'm sure we were talking about BBC and laptops, so that's what the video's on. Yeah, so just show you what we do, how we do it, the system we use, um, so on and so forth, and then, yeah. So this is like something that we choose to do. Um, I know that we're talking about being a positive, that's a whole different topic, but I think we're just choosing to vaccinate against this. And you can vaccinate against those diseases for cows, um, and you can't for TV and things like that, so it's not essentially, but definitely cut all of this out. I can't really do that. <laughs> Me. Oh. <laughs> right, sorry about that. The other thing I'll say is we do this yearly, so once a year, um, like Josie said, to all the cows in calf heifers and bullying heifers. So we're gonna go and make a start and we'll bring you with us. So we have a routine bet. She is really good and we really like her. And she has recommended what we use to vaccinate against these diseases because there is actually a couple of types. So we've gone for this one. It's actually really quite fun because we have to get this in here. Um, but once you do that, you have to use it. I think it's within a few hours, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so don't do it unless you know you're going to be doing the job. Um, but yeah, it's really fun. You just basically, like this is how we do it because it's the easiest way. So this is a clean syringe and needle. Um, and then we just pop it into the syringe. I will have to do it twice and then put it in here. That's the easiest way we find to do it. And then it literally, woo, that was cool. I do the syringe goes down on its own. It's really quite cool. Oh, right, okay. Oh, yeah. Wow, oh, wow. that was fun. <laughs> it's called um, Bovella. So some BBD vaccinations you have to do twice, but this type, you've only got to do them once, which is obviously a massive bonus. So it's a good job this is fun because you do have to do it like three or four times. Josie's having far too much fun in my opinion. Would you say the fun's been sucked out of it? No. Oi! Like as much as I like what you did there. Like... Okay, so this is my last one. Yeah. Oh, it's not doing it. It's here. Yeah. It just gave up right at the end. Oh look, our intruder's oh, look, back. <laughs> Man's milk and to be fair to the girl. <laughs> yeah, so you can't fail to see that Josie has children because that is in fact a nursery rhyme. <laughs> so I've got the spider back. So this is the lepto vaccination. So we have one each and that's how we do it. So basically I'll show you how the gun works. You take, that was on there, like that. You take that off, put the bottle into this bit, just literally slicing like that. And then you can see on the gun, you've got a big sharp bit there and that you've got a soft bit on the bottle and that stabs into there. So you do have to press quite hard then once you've got that lined up, you literally just twist it on like a bottle cap. Make sure it's nice and tight because that is what's holding the bottle to the gun. And then just like Josie, I'm ready to rock. And the gun's the same, so it's got the needle there. And you basically get rid of the air. So you can see here, um, the glass is empty. Push the, all the air out. Make sure your bottle is in the right angle to fill. And then as I let go, you can see then the liquid going in. And I'm ready. So now all I've got to do is put it in the skin and um, this liquid will come out. Mine's really snazzy. <laughs> <laughs> Yours has got a big old protective case. I look like I mean business. Anyway, I'm ready to go. 
aside, we are going to do this through our outdoor race today. Um, we have done a video on a tour of the farm, which just shows where the race is on the farm. So if you fancy giving that a uh, look, go and have a look and then you'll know. So they will come down the ramp up there, you can see. So they'll come out from Melk and walk down here. And then this is our outdoor race. So basically all we're doing now is just setting it all up, ready for them to come. So we've just got to shut a few gates and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> so we always do this type of job um, like during milking time because the cows are in anyway. So it makes sense then they're already in the flow of leaving. Do it quick and then they're off to enjoy their night. Yeah, then, Josie. So my dad built a wooden box years and years and years ago and through weathering it like collapsed one day and we really missed it because we do like TV testing down here, women down here so about five days ago we were blessed with our father making a new box but yeah look at this bad boy so Weather from proof. now on like if we've got any paperwork or anything like that it's not going to get wet like yeah, it's, it's like... very sturdy, all zinc. Oh, Josie's gone in it. It's <laughs> lovely. So I'm just going to put this in here now. And another good thing about the flap, which is actually probably our dad's thinking more than the weather, is the cows, when they come out now, I mean, tonight they're going straight out to the field, but if you've ever got to hold them here, they will sniff this. Like, they just love to sniff and lick and spit all over. I remember once I PD'd, I'm going on tangent again now. <laughs> Once we PD'd, I wrote all the PDs down and then a cow ripped the oh page on it. Uh, I haven't been farming very long either. I wasn't in my was dad's not good good day. day. So yeah, this is what this will avoid. <laughs> yeah, very, very pleased over little things, but I'll tell you, you put a lot of work into that. Come in. Here come our first batch. So there they are, just going and entering the race. Bingo's leading the way like the good egg she is. BVD stands for bovine viral diarrhea and it can lead to much more extreme costly problems if not vaccinated. It is a widespread disease, so prevention's actually better than cure. And for this disease, there actually is no cure. So um, we vaccinate here at our farm to try and avoid any further problems. So lepto is short for leptospirosis, which is a reproductive disease. Um, so it comes in outbreak. So if one animal gets it, then it's likely to spread. So it's really important that we nip it in the bud. Um, so if anyone did get the disease, it causes things like abortions or if they do carve, they'd have weak offspring. Um, they'll also drop in milk. So all of that is really costly to a farming business, which is why we vaccinate so that we don't get the disease and then we don't have those problems. So my um, spiral back injection is under the skin. So you can do it anywhere, either in the neck or behind the shoulder, as long as it's under the skin, basically. So this is a double yoke, which is really, really handy because you can see it's holding like the top of her neck and the bottom. So she really can't move. Then I can just reach in, pull her skin away. Then I just pop my needle in, push the injection out. I always give it a bit of a rub and job done they do tend as you can see she did fiddle a little bit it's more because it's the unknown like i've just reached in she's not sure what's going on it's, it's like pretty, humans so we don't love i was just gonna say it's pretty painless they can feel it a little bit but it's not too bad and now she's good to go so bvd is intramuscular so it goes in the muscle the easiest place to get to the muscle is by here on her rear end and there's a nice flat bit there with some nice muscle and it doesn't really hurt them at all then. Um, I always like just give it a little punch twice first before putting the needle in just to let them know that you're there. Um, and like we've already said, it's just like humans getting injected. It's pretty painless, but it's just, I mean, at the end of the day, they are being jabbed. Um, so yeah, I just go. That didn't go very well. No. No, 
choice. Dad's also on hand helping tonight. He's basically floating. So wherever we need him at the minute, he's catching, injecting and sending the cows in. <laughs> We've got it all worked out. Cool. <laughs> This system works really well. Once the cows are done, they're able to literally walk straight out to their night paddock. In single files, they're all calm and collected and off to the night grazing. So happy days. Hello, Dad. Look up. Hi, everyone. Hope you're all well. He's intrigued by my mixing. Yeah. Oh, Joseph, we can't see you, though. No. Just get on with it, please. <laughs> this is doing my head in. Why are you mixing this stuff? Never let you do that in my day. Because we're using different stuff to your day or off. In your day, because you're so off. If you have oh, to say in my off. day, then you're off. Just get on with it, you're wasting time. I am, Dad, I can only go so far. It's going to come to rain in a minute, can you see? I... Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I can still vlog. Smiling in the rain. Cows are well used to coming into the race, so they walk in single file and they line up and we can fit roughly about 15 cows along the whole of the race. This works really well as Josie and Poppy can then walk down and do what they need to do with the cows and they can all leave in big groups rather than doing one by one. We catch the first one at the front to make sure that there's no, not too much movement. We have the freedom of doing as many as we want before letting them go. So in this case, as we have the help of our dad, we were doing about three or four and then letting them go just to try and get them gone to the field as quick as we can. We've had this outdoor race for nine years and it has been one of the best things that we've done. We use it for all kinds of things like TB testing, worm in the heifers. Um, it's really practical, really handy. It's got a gate halfway down the race. We can use this just to stop the cows from reversing back, um, split them up into two sections or for anything like that. So as you can see, we're actually only using the first half to do the BVD and Lepto at the minute. Um, if we want to make sure that the cows don't walk back, we can just shut that gate, get rid of that first half, and then the second half can move up to the front. Yeah, and then we have a gate on the back as well then for the exact same reasons. We're able to fill the race and then they can't reverse out. So yeah, it works really well. The collection yard is at the front of the race. That's where they gather and then they just walk on through. So we've always vaccinated for BVD and Lepto. I think that's one of the main reasons we are still doing it. It's just to stay on top of it. It's not a disease that we want in our herd at all. So we're just trying to keep it out and this is the best way to do it. So while we've been doing that, Mum and Amanda have been busy milking. Amanda's gone now and Mum's feeding the calves. And the boys in the camera all calves. Yeah, you literally just have to follow her around. <laughs> um, but yeah, we thought we'd give her a mention because she's been busy milking, so didn't want to leave her out. She's with the pet. 
She's working the mansion. Do you want to say anything, ma'am? No. I'm on the mansion. His shadow. Off he goes. She's 13. 14. Oh, we got something out of it. <laughs> Da -da -da -da. Finish. Oh, done. <laughs> yeah, so we finished now the milking herd anyway. Um, Barney's come to say hello. Hey, Barney. He wasn't allowed to help because he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> so that's the milking herd done. Uh, we'll probably do the dry cows now, tomorrow, Thursday, and the heifers and everything then. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we'll see you probably in two weeks time for the next one. Bye. Bye.